do want to give a caveat uh, to the young people, the young black people, that, that there are destructive tendencies you know, within our culture, within black culture. Uh, a lot of it comes from the music, a lot of it comes from the, the a particular lifestyle that, that is not really positive, that is destructive, okay? And then only a few people are making a whole lot of money and they're projecting this image to the masses of young black people and the masses of young black people are falling into that, you know, influence. What I'm suggesting today is that we need to recognize that there is a real world out there where, where in order for you to be successful, you're going to have to be self-sufficient. You're going to have to be well, you're going to have to be rid of destructive tendencies, destructive character, character traits. And, and that's what college is about. College is a very good thing. As I explained to even my good white friend, you know, who had issue with the black daughter going to college was that, that college is a place where the first couple of years you begin to find yourself, find your way. You, you're interacting with educated peers. You're learning. Your worldview is expanding and you're getting a better idea of who you are and how you fit in this world. And then you make a decision and you go that particular route, that direction. What I'm suggesting to do is we just, we need to recognize that the purpose of college, even the purpose of HBUs, is not for a party culture. It's not to drag the, the party culture and the destructive elements of our culture into that environment. It's that environment is supposed to be replacing the destructive uh, traits of our culture with positiveness uh, to help you be better and navigate once you graduate. Because what I'm telling you, as, as, as white folks who are still in control of a lot of the institutions and places are, are in power and, and we are making our own way without help of them, we're going to get in a position where in order to make your own way, you're, you're going to need to have rid yourself of certain proclivities, certain habits, sort of dis certain destructive tendencies. And of course, now you have a networking of HBCUs, but you have to function in excellence. You cannot function in excellence coupled with weed. You cannot function in excellence coupled with alcohol. You cannot function in excellence coupled with promiscuity. You, you cannot function in, in excellence while you're, uh, while you're um, participating in a destructive lifestyle.